Hey guys, what's up? Our story begins after arriving at the orbit of planet Raggle. The Pioneer 2 ship was met with a large explosion coming from the surface, and were unable to get in contact with the colonists from the Pioneer 1 ship. Naturally, the government calls on the help of members of the Hunters Guild to explore the surface of Raggle and see what's going on while attempting to make contact with the colonists. If you don't know what any of this means, go back and watch the Pioneer Project video I made, and then come back to this one. The link is in the video description. First of all, when you arrive in the central hub of the Pioneer 2, you'll find you can access the bridge by heading to the teleport pad between the shop area and the med bay. Head on up and run over to the area with the important looking people standing in the center of the polygonal room, which I think is supposed to be circular in any case. The girl with the pigtails standing at the desk on the left is Mamoka. She will assign you government quests if you speak to her. You can keep redoing the same quests if you wish, but in any case, the first quest is called 1-1 Planet Raggle. On the window to the right are quest descriptions. Since there's only the first one right now, it will read, Go down to Raggle's surface and report on the conditions there. Selecting the quest will reveal that the client is the principal, and the quest description further reads, We need expert hunters like yourself to explore and gather data from Raggle's surface. Accepting the quest will open dialogue with the principal. <clears throat> Are you Voidmon 3Y, the hunter? I'm Principal Tyrell. We have a bad situation. We need to act quickly. Did you hear about the explosion on Raggle? Very well. Pay attention and listen to me. We've lost contact with Pioneer 1. We have no idea what has happened. We've sent probes, but communication always gets cut off near the surface. What happened on Raggle and Pioneer 1? Are the people still alive? The Council made a decision to send a manned search team. You're a skilled hunter. We need your help. We have no choice. We need a place to settle on. Ask Irene, my secretary, for further details. Uh, could you... Uh, no. It's nothing. Take care and good luck. Well, Principal Tyrell will frustratingly not tell you what he wants. If you go over to the lady in green, standing at the desk on his right, you will find that this is Irene. If you initiate dialogue, she will further brief you. Well, let me brief you on your mission. Once you're on Raggle, check the status of the residential area. Checking the status of the central dome is a good idea. A teleporter was launched earlier. You can go to Raggle directly from here. It may be a little risky, so please be careful. Oh, sorry, no, nothing. I wish you the best of luck. Why don't these NPCs just tell you what's on their mind? Since this is such a serious situation, so far from the familiarity of everyone's home, they're clearly hiding some deeper concerns. Well, if you head down to the surface, starting with Forest 1, you will have to sweep your way through some basic enemies, rag rappies, boomas, and savage wolves. There will also be a few slightly more difficult monest, go booma, barbarous wolves, and perhaps even one or two Gigobumas. Once you work your way through Forest 1, there will be a telepad to Forest 2, which has a few more of the higher tier enemies. You'll see a lot of the pathways are blocked off by large cylindrical structures, but before long, you'll come to an area with a crashed probe. You'll have to kill all of the enemies here to progress. Once you recover the probe data, you'll have a telepad that will take you back to the Pioneer 2. Return to the bridge and tell Principal Tyrell your findings. Good job. Is that so? The route to the central dome was blocked off, so we couldn't get a handle on the situation. We sent the probes we recovered to the lab for analysis. And my, were we surprised. Pioneer 1 had never reported anything involving creatures. Why are they down there on Raggle now? You can talk to the other NPCs in the bridge if you wish for some more flavor dialogue after quests, but they'll pretty much just reiterate the same thing in different words. But since we're finished with the quest, we can now speak to Momoko one last time to end the quest, and get booted from your session in the progress. And with that, Government Quest 1-1 is completed. Torrential Woods If you've played Fantasy Star Online, you'll know that's a very unfitting name for this quest. But regardless, it is the second of the government story quests that will take us to the forest. To start up the quest, you'll have to speak to Momoka. The short description for Government Quest 1-2 Torrential Woods is as follows. Eliminate the hostile animals prowling around the Central Dome area. 
When you select the quest, the expanded description will also pop up. The client is once again the principal, and the description reads, Please eliminate the dangerous wildlife in the area around the central dome. I hope you like redundancy, because this game is chock full of it, including this entire quest. As you might have guessed, confirming the quest will eat you into dialogue with the principal. Good to see you, Hunter Voidmon 3Y. It's good to see you too. Let me get straight to the point. Great. I hate beating around the bush. The way to the central dome is now open. We went in to further investigate the reason for the explosion, but the search team was attacked by those violent wild animals down there. There have been many casualties already in the dome area. I'd like you to go and exterminate these vicious beasts. Our teams can't handle it. We need the help of you hunters. My secretary, Irene, has the details. Please speak to her. Hmm, I'm counting on you. Hey, it's good to be counted. And with that, go speak to Irene at the next counter. Let me brief you on your mission. Orders are to exterminate the giant wild animals around the central dome. I believe you've already run into some of them, so you should be prepared. It will be a great help if you can exterminate all of them in the area. Use the transporter to get down to the surface of Regal. I've heard that these animals are tough. Please be very careful. That is all. Good luck. Don't you love how they just keep saying the same thing? Now that we have all that lollygagging out of the way, it's time to return to the forest of our favorite egg-shaped planet. We'll run through Forest 1, just like last time, but once we get to Forest 2, there will be a little more for us to uncover, as the large cylinders from the last quest have been cleared. While you're in Forest 2, you'll come across a monolith with strange engravings on it. Next to it is a holographic message left by Red Ring Rico. You might also be asking who Red Ring Rico is. Well, she's a hunter from the Pioneer One who helped clear up monsters as they appeared on Raggle. But she also left all of these hollow messages we come across throughout Episode 1. You don't really need to know more than that for the purpose of this video, but we will do a deep dive on her character somewhere down the road. In any case, the message reads, They say the giant pillar is a monument built by Pioneer One, but... Given recent events, I think it warrants a more thorough investigation. And what about those weird symbols? Could they be letters? Well, at least she's dubious of the monument as well. When you get close enough, it'll activate with no explanation. Continue to make your way toward the central dome and clear up what's left of the creatures outside the entrance. Before long, you'll have to contend with a more dangerous creature, the Hildebear. They pack a pretty hefty punch can close distances quickly, and also shoot fireballs. Techs or traps are the easiest way to deal with them, especially if you're trying to solo them. Once you kill the last one, you'll get a notification. You exterminated the wild animals. A telepad will then drop down to return you to Pioneer 2, and you'll be able to walk your quest back into the principal on the bridge. Well done, Voidmon 3Y. It's Void Muddy, jeez. Thanks to you, we can investigate the Central Dome at last. I wonder if the people of Pioneer One are alright. Is something on your mind? There was a pillar down on Raggle with strange markings on it? Hmm. My guess is that it was a monument set up by the Pioneer One settlers. Really? Dude, the thing had hieroglyphics on it. Why would they make something like that? But that does seem a bit unusual, I admit. Well, leave that to us for now then. Again, you did a good job. Please go and get some rest. With that out of the way, you can talk to the other important people on the bridge, starting with Irene. Good work. Now we can safely investigate the Central Dome. Maybe we can get some clues as to what happened to Pioneer One. I hope we can find Rico too. Next, tiptoe over to the first unnamed science guy. Thanks to you, we can safely investigate the Central Dome. I hope that the people of Pioneer One are all okay. Then you can talk to Science Guy too. With those wild animals outside, if nobody from Pioneer One is inside the dome, then I don't see how anyone on Ragal could possibly still be alive. Don't you agree? Jeez, talk about glass half empty. And you have some kind of frog in your throat? But with that, we can hand the quest back into Momoka, thus completing Government Quest 1-2. Whatever the torrential woods were supposed to be, who knows, because there wasn't really anything torrential about that quest. 
There's a subterranean den under the central dome? We have returned for another Fantasy Star Online lore video. This time we're continuing on our government quest line. Returning to the surface of Raggle and visiting the forest. And today we will uncover what's beneath the surface of Raggle. As per usual, we will start our adventure on the Pioneer 2 and make our way to the bridge. If you speak to Momoka, she will have a new quest titled 1-3 Subterranean Den. The quest description reads, Nobody has come back from beneath the central dome alive. You know, isn't it either a little too presumptuous or even redundant to say no one's come back alive? I mean, knowing at least a little bit of the situation down there by this point, you can't really assume anyone is either alive or dead down there. In any case, selecting the quest will bring up an expanded description and reveal the client is once again the principal. The description reads, Nobody that we've sent beneath the central dome has come back alive. Please go down and investigate. Keeping it vague, as usual. In any case, select the quest and prepare to be yeeted into dialogue with the principal. I've been waiting for you, Hunter Voidmon 3 Why? Great! I love being waited on. To sum up what's happening, since the beasts around the central dome have been exterminated... Ahem, <clears throat> you're welcome. We've been able to send investigation teams in to check things out. However, the door to the dome itself won't open. But we were able to find a teleporter that will send us below the dome. How convenient. However, our advance team went in to investigate and hasn't returned. Somehow or another, we need to get into the central dome. The council decided that sending in more troops is too dangerous. And so, they asked for the best hunters to go and check things out. And so, I've chosen you for the job. Find a way underneath the central dome and find out what happened. Dude, you just said you already found a teleporter. Who writes your script? My secretary, Irene, has the details. Please speak to her. I'm counting on you. Okay, well, let's go talk to Irene next. Here are the details of the current mission. I can't wait for these completely new details. Use the teleporter near the central dome to go below and investigate. Wait, really? Your boss just... I believe that the principal has already told you this, but nobody has returned from the area beneath the dome. You know, now that you mention it, there's never been anything you've said to me that the principal hasn't told me first. I have a feeling this might be a very dangerous mission. Danger is my second middle name. Please do everything that you can to make sure you survive. Hey, that's why I'm packing crampons. That is all. Good luck. So, as per the norm, we will return to the surface of Raggle and explore the forest once more. Remember how the second government quest in the forest was just the first mission, plus a few more forest sections? Well, the third quest is basically just the second quest with a couple more sections added as well. But there is at least a surprise waiting for us beneath the central dome. And I gotta say, the surprise is a pretty good one. So, once more, make your way through Forest 1 until you can use the telepad to Forest 2. Once in Forest 2, you will have to fight through the more difficult sections until you come to where we fought off the Hilda Bears in the last government quest. Instead of blasting off again and returning to the Pioneer 2, you'll be granted access to the door that leads to the Central Dome. There will be a few mobs, including a couple more Hilda Bear, but once you clear the area, you'll find that you can't pass the door to the Central Dome. But fret not, the telepad that the principal mentioned is close by and in sight. And it's bigger than the previous telepads, so you know it's more important. If you use the telepad, you will be warped underneath the central dome, where you will find the surprise I promised earlier. It's a dragon! It may just resemble the red drake from Dark Souls, but this monster isn't nearly as tough. Just make sure you heal at opportune times so as to not take massive damage and end up dying in an embarrassing moment. If you attack its legs when it's on the ground, it will eventually fall down and be stunned. Kind of like a Rathalos. You will take damage when it falls if you're close, but you'll be able to make direct attacks on the monster's head at this point. If you have a weapon like the Partisan, which hits multiple weak points, you can use it to do extra damage. At some point, the dragon will also take to the air and find itself out of reach of your attacks. It will either blow a fireball at you, or tunnel into the ground and try to attack you with the displaced earth as it tunnels across the battlefield. 
The fireballs are pretty easy to avoid, but there's a trick to avoiding the earth attacks. Just hang tight against the wall, getting as close as you can to the attack's starting point. The dragon will try to attack you by going across the map, so if you just stand close to its starting point, it won't be able to hit you. After a few of these attacks, it'll pop out of the earth, and its legs will be vulnerable for attack again. Just rinse and repeat until it dies. It will most likely drop a star atomizer, and depending on what difficulty you play on, can also drop a Musashi or Yamato. Not bad. After defeating the monster, a telepath leading back to Pioneer 2 will also appear. Take it, and head to the bridge to report to the important people, starting with the principal. And the dragon, did it attack you? It sure did. You believe the native animals on Raggle attacked Pioneer 1 to defend their territory? It's possible, but why all of a sudden? Once again, you've done an excellent job. For your efforts, please accept a reward. Nice. I love rewards. Speak to Irene. She'll give it to you. Alrighty then, let's get on with it. I'll keep you in mind for future jobs as well. I look forward to seeing more of your skill in action. Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Now, Irene. Great work, as always. Here, let me give you this reward. I hope that you're able to put it to good use. You got a sword plus five? Uh, it's all right, I guess. Now, let's speak to Science Guy 1. A huge dragon. Pioneer 1 never mentioned this in their report. How can this be? Maybe it moved in after their report. Is Raggle such a dangerous place? Dude, you have the grammar skills of a child. Now for Science Guy 2. I vote against the immigration. If a planet dies, the people should die along with it, right? Jeez, way to be all fatalistic. Now lastly, return to Momoka to finish the quest. And that's it for the subterranean den. We completed the last of the forest government quests. And in so doing, we discovered a hidden cavern beneath the central dome. Surely, spelunking is in order. But that, my friends, is a quest for another day. Thank you so much for watching, and if you made it this far, please consider subscribing if you aren't already. There's also more videos like this one popping up on screen right now. Thanks again, have fun and stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye